Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be making pepper shrimp. So you need one pound of de-veined head-on shell on shrimp. This is some homemade pepper sauce I made. It's blended up red scotch bonnet peppers, vinegar, olive oil, and some garlic. And depending on how spicy you want it, you can use some more scotch bonnet. I'm just using another half because that pepper sauce is plenty spicy. You need some scallion, a pinch of black pepper, just a little bit like you see there, some allspice or pimento, same thing, whatever you want to call it. And you are also going to need some seafood seasoning. You can also use fish seasoning. I'm using Island Spice Seafood Spice. And of course, you are going to need some salt. You can skip the salt if you want to, but shrimp that still has a shell on needs quite a bit of salt for you to be able to taste it, okay? It's harder for the salt to get in there because of the shell. So you can see I'm putting about a tablespoon, I would say, of salt. And this is just one pound of shrimp. Okay, so once you put your salt, you can go ahead and put about a tablespoon of the seafood or fish seasoning that you are going to be using. Okay, don't be shy because as I said, shrimp with the shell on, you need a bit of seasoning and a bit of salt in order for the seasonings to be able to penetrate the shells, really get in there. And you're going to have to really massage it in well. Okay, go ahead and sprinkle in your black pepper and then you can start putting in your peppers. Okay, if you don't want to blend up your own scotch bonnet peppers, you can, I would recommend Spur Tree Red Scotch Bonnet Pepper Sauce. But it's really easy to just toss this in the blender and make it yourself. You also don't have to use Scotch Bonnet Peppers or if you cannot get Scotch Bonnet Peppers, Habaneros are good too. I'm not wasting a drop. You can see um, I'm getting it all. Okay, so what you're going to do now is just massage this in really well. Make sure that your shrimp is evenly coated in this. You want to really get it everywhere. Okay, as I said, shell on shrimp. You want to really work your seasonings in. And don't be shy. Use quite a bit of seasoning. Okay, you don't want to use too much, but you can definitely put a tablespoon of salt a tablespoon of your seafood or fish seasoning and then rub it in really well. If you choose to, you can use shrimp without the head. I know some people don't like seeing the head. They get creeped out. You don't have to get head on shrimp, obviously. You don't even have to use shell on shrimp if you don't want to, but authentic Jamaican pepper shrimp does have the shell and the head on. So all you have to do is just wash it and de-vein it. Okay, so now you're going to heat up your oil, just a little bit of oil like that. And you want to heat it over just a medium flame. Go ahead and toss in your scallion. You don't want to let this cook for too long. You don't want to let it get brown. Guys, my camera died. So, all I did was put the shrimp in and stir it a little bit. I take me the um, take you off, you know. No, like um, I stop me that stop to move on. We just pause between this and the next part. Yeah. I video um, when the press feed turn it off, you turn on and I say work one. And that bowl that I had the pepper sauce in, I just put a little tiny yeah, bit of water in there and poured it into the pot. So you this is really quick, all you have to do is cook this for a few minutes. You just want to see the shrimp get pink. 
and you know that it's ready. Okay, so just stir gently. Make sure your shrimp is cooked through. Just putting a little bit more water that was left in the bowl. Manali is nothing. Okay, so once you see that it's starting to turn pink a little bit, what you want to do is cover your pot, turn the fire down, turn your, turn your flame down to a low heat, and just let it continue to simmer and steam and let the flavor just seep into the shells. Okay, so check on it about two minutes later. As I said, this is quick. You don't want to overcook your shrimp, so just leave it covered for two minutes. Come back and check on it. You can see the shrimp is just about cooked. Stir it gently. You don't want to break the heads off. They're really easy to come off. I lost a couple there, you can see. Okay, so just spoon some of that liquid over your shrimp. You want to really get the flavors into the shell. Okay, another minute. Come back, check on it, and it's looking so good. It smells so good. So spicy. I wish you guys could smell this. Just spooning the liquid over the shrimp once again. I really want the flavor to seep into the shells. I want this to be flavorful. So good. The pepper, the flavor of the fresh shrimp, it's so good. So what I like to do now is turn the flame off completely and then I just cover it and let it sit there and you know just soak in the juices. And then you just plate it and you are ready to go, guys. It's honestly such an easy recipe. Look at that. Mm, it looks so good. I can just sit and eat these all day. Like, I can eat a whole pound of shrimp by myself. <laughs> you can enjoy this by itself or with white rice, whatever you choose to. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are going to have this recipe with. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for new videos every week and I want to thank all of our new subscribers. Thanks for the support and we hope you guys keep on coming back. Let us know in the comments which recipes you want to see next. Thanks guys. Bye.